Coming up now on 538, and we're going to put traffic at the top of the list this morning. Louisiana State Police Troop I spokesman Brooks Davi joining us uh, for a moment. Trooper, can you tell us what's happening on I-10 this morning in the Acadiana area? Yeah, approximately 5.05 this morning, we received a call of a, a overturned 18-wheeler on I-10 eastbound at Butler Rose on the Basin Bridge. And it uh, is engulfed in flames, so it's taking up all the lanes of traffic. So the interstate and the Basin Bridge is shut down completely. We are rerouting traffic from from I-10 eastbound onto I-49 northbound. Uh, as we speak, we are setting up uh, police officers from Lafayette PD and the local agencies, along with troopers and deputies from other agencies, uh, at those uh, intersections and uh, entrance ramps and exit ramps along I-10, and they'll be setting up along I-49. We also notified uh, Crot Springs and Port Barry to let them know they'll have an influx of traffic. Once that's done, uh, we will uh, implement uh, the shutdown of I-10 and start redirecting that traffic. Uh, we do not know how long Interstate 10 will be shut down. We do know that it will take a long time to uh, offload that 18-wheeler, whatever it's carrying, and upright it. And then also the inspectors from DOT will have to come and uh, inspect the bridge to make sure that everything's safe on that bridge so we can let traffic uh, flow again. So this is not something that's going to take one or two hours. It's something that's going to take a while. We ask the public to be patient, please. And um, we know that traffic on I-49 and US-190 will be heavy. So if they're hearing this, please get ready quick and leave a little bit early. And uh, please drive with patience. And we'll try to get it open as soon as we can. And so that is I-10 eastbound uh, right there at Butte LaRose. Now, like you said, we don't yet know what the 18-wheeler was even carrying. So that it's just another reminder that it's, it's going to take a while to right this situation. Yeah, correct. It's not something that's going to be done within the next hour or two. It's going to take a little while before we can get the, the correct personnel out there. Um, it could be carrying something very simple, but, um, I, you know, by the time you get the fire out and get uh, that thing offloaded and get tow trucks up there and, get, you know, um, get the bridge inspected and everything else and get all that traffic clear. It's going to be a while, so we just ask people to have patience and we'll get it open as soon as we can. All right. Well, we will get the word out to uh, all of our folks. Louisiana State Police so Trooper Brooks Stavid. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Have a good one.